In today's video, I'm going to be running through how we could create this beautiful hero section in Elementor. And the only thing we're going to need is Elementor Pro and a few code snippets that I'm going to have down below in my website. And this is going to need zero plugins, guys. So tune in. So a few requirements we're going to need for this tutorial in Elementor. We're going to need Elementor Pro and we're going to need to go to Elementor and we're going to go to settings. And we're going to go over here to features and we're going to make sure that the flexbox feature is turned on so this one here we're just going to make sure that this one is on active first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a new column we're going to open this one here and then we're going to go to our column we're going to go here and we're going to put this to vh i'm going to give it a height of 83 and i'm going to give this the direction we're going to leave our row we're going to go to our line items and we're going to put it in center. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our color in the background. And I'm going to give it this color that I have saved here. Perfect. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to go to padding and we're going to go to percentage. I'm going to give all around padding of two. And now we're going to go to CSS classes. I'm going to call this watch. Select. And now we're going to go to custom CSS. And I'm going to get my CSS code here. This one here. Sorry. And we're going to put it in here. So now we're going to go back to this one here and we're going to add in our headings. So I'm going to get in our text from here, run, sleep, move. Boom. And now I'm going to go over to style, I'm going to color it in black, I'm going to change the font to poppins. Give it a size of 900. I'm going to give this a size of 47. And now we're going to click on this. We're going to duplicate it. I'm going to name this one Feel Free. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to give this uppercase. I'm going to transform it to uppercase. Same one here. I'm going to change the size of this one. I'm going to give it a 101 and I'm going to go uppercase perfect now I'm going to add in a text editor down here I'm going to change the color I'm going to go over to poppins I'm going to give it a size of 16 and a weight of 900 and now we're going to add in a button Gonna color it, you're just gonna view watches. Now I'm gonna go into style. I'm going to give it a color of oh no. Don't seem to have my color saved, so I'm just gonna make a random color. Uh, Give it a lightish pink one. Perfect. Now I'm going to give the text color, I'm going to color that in black. And now we're going to change the font. Poppins. 900 as well. Size of 16. And uppercase. Okay, so now we're going to go over to our second column. And we're going to go over, we're going to click row for this one. And we're going to give it a padding. Gonna unlink it, change the percentage, and give it 10 on the left side. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in our image, our first one I'm gonna add in of our watch. So here and we're going to go over. I'm gonna add in our main image, this one here. 
and there we have it so now for the now we're going to add in our social icon button and i'm going to actually just change the color of this um get the button so what i want to do is going to get this lovely tool over here get that color copy and i want to go back can't believe i forgot to never got to save the color but anyways so there we got the color and now we're going to go over to box shadows increase blur amount decrease the color opacity and perfect so now we're going to add in our social icon and um get in our pictures here at the bottom all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to search up social icons and we're going to put it on the right side of our image so now we're going to go to our and we're going to go to columns we're going to give this a row of one and then we're going to go over to our style i'm going to give this custom and i'm going to change the color so we're going to go from primary going to and i'm going to go secondary i want to give that a shade in of black perfect so now we're going to go to our um advanced tab and we're going to give this a position of absolute and i'm going to go to the horizontal orientation and give this right side of right and then we're going to give this we're going to go down to pixel i'm going to give this minus 135.5 and now for the ver vertical we're going to go down here to the percentage and i'm going to give this a vertical orientation of 25 so let's see how it's looking perfect so now we're going to be adding our images so what we're going to do first is we're going to get a container I'm going to put it on the left side of our image and now we're going to go over to navigation and here where you see the second container we're just going to put this at, this, at the very bottom under social icons so we're going to go over here and then we put it at the very bottom and now it's over at this side so now we could turn off our um navigation bar and what we can start doing now is we can add in our image I'm going to add in an image of our first one here, the same thing. And now we're going to go over and we're going to give this a height of 70. And now we're going to go to contain. And I'm going to duplicate these images two more times. So now when we duplicate those, we're just going to change these um, images to our different variations. So I'm going to put this one for the pink one. I'm going to give this one the black one. So now that we've done all that, we want this image to be down here at the bottom of our page. So now we're going to do is we're going to click onto this column, the one that holds all of our things. And we're going to go to direction and we're going to give this a row. I'm going to center align this. And then for the gap, we're going to give this a gap of 10. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a custom CSS to get it down here to the bottom. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go over to advance. I'm going to go to custom CSS and for adding in custom CSS, you're going to need Elementor Pro for this. So um, I'm going to go over to our code snippets and for the code snippet, there will be a link down below to my website and the code snippets will be there. So now we're just going to copy this one here. I'm going to go back here and we're going to put in our custom CSS. And perfect you guys can see there we have our social icon we have our main picture and then we have these that bring up an animation and obviously it's not changing in yet but we'll get to that and if you see here if you want to change you could change some of the stuff um over here if you want to change some of the settings in the custom css you're free to do that you can change the transition timing and all of that so now we're going to get in um get these buttons for the variations working and changing in the actual picture of the watch and also the background so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our first image over here and before we actually go to our first image we're going to add in um, a css class to our main image here the one that's here and we're going to go over to css classes and mine is watch okay and now we're going to go to add elements i'm going to type in html gonna give it put that there in the bottom and then we're gonna get in our JavaScript uh, code so I'm gonna go here get this one here and copy it and go back here and then we're gonna place that in here 
So now we're going to go to our first image over here and we're going to go to attributes. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another code snippet and we're going to get this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove where it says everything after image URL. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go to our image. I'm going to get the URL for our image. So I'm going to copy this one here. We're going to go back to attributes. I want to copy in the URL and I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to go over to this one here. And I'm going to put in, go to attributes, I'm going to put this in and then see what I'm going to actually do here is this might not be the same case for everyone, but since these were just the same file name, just different number, I'm going to see what the number is here where it says, um, so it's 25 because everything is pretty much the same in the URL, but the last number. So all I need to do is just change in the numbers. So I'm going to go back to attributes and this one is 25. And in the black one here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is 24, so no need to check. So I'm just going to go to attributes. I hit 24. I'm going to publish that. And now we're going to see, and now we're going to give it a look and see if it works. So I'm going to click on the first one, I'm going to click on the pink one, I'm going to click on the black one. So you see here that everything's working, it's changing images, but now I want to change the background image with these, um, with the changes of the watches. So now I'm going to go back to edit watch. And what I'm going to do is we're going to get another code snippet. So I'm going to go back to our first one. I'm going to go back to attributes. And on the second line, we're going to go back to code snippets. Again, this will be in the description in my website. So we're going to go to this one here. I want to copy this one. And I'm going to click there. And then the same thing as last one, from where it says uh, color code, we're going to remove that and we're actually going to get our color code. So for the first one, the color code is going to be the same color. So I'm just going to just use this one here, copy our color code, and I put that here. And then make sure it has the hashtag also. Just gonna get the hashtag. So now we're gonna copy this one, just like the last. I'm gonna do that for the pink one here. Gonna go to attributes, gonna go to our second line. And now I'm gonna get my color code that I want this one to, for the pink one to be. So I'm gonna copy this one here. Gonna go back here. And I'm gonna go to our black one, exact same thing. Gonna go to attributes, gonna go to the second one down, and I'm gonna go to get the color that we wanna use for this one. Yeah, didn't think of that. Uh, one second, gonna go back here. Supposed to paste it first. Get that one, go back here. Go to attributes. Now we're going to go back and get our color code. Perfect. So now we're going to test this one here and see if the background color changes also. So as we can see, um, the background color changes also with the change of the variation of the watches. But now I'm going to show you guys how to add in a heading and how to get in the how to get the color of the heading to change as well as the background to be in sync. So now we're going to get into that. So now we're going to do is we'll create a quick menu up at the top of our landing page. So we're going to click on add in new heading. So we're going to add in one. I'm going to add in this one here. So now we're going to color in the background same as this one here. I'm going to go to background color. I'm going to go to the save ones here. Just that color. So now we're going to add in WordPress menu. And now we're going to push shift that to the left to see how that one looks great. And the background color is not the same wrong one. I'm going to get the one that is exact same. Um, it's not that one. Pretty sure I had this saved. There it is. So now I'm going to just change the font and just a little bit of that. So I'm going to change the color of the text, color that in black, change our font.
So I'm going to give it a size of 16. I'm going to take off that underlining. Always hated those. Great. But now um, this is is not in sync with the thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this section. We're going to click our section and we're going to go to advance. I want to go to uh, CSS class and we're going to name it watch section. I'm going to publish that and we're going to take a look at that now and see if everything is in sync. So there you guys, as you can see, the background changes with the, I mean, the header of the background changes with the main header, I mean, with the main hero section. Thank you guys all for making it to the end of the video. I hope this tutorial was easy and good for you guys to follow through. If you guys want to learn more about me and see more about me, then you guys can follow my Instagram. And I hope you guys stay tuned and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload next Tuesday.